I am not too sure if I am making the right decision. I have been praying. I haven't gotten an answer yet. I did move into a new office. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are continuing subscribers, welcome back and thank you very much. And uh, for those of you who are not subscribed yet, what the heck? My name is Melanie Luna Diaz and I am a dental assistant. And uh, this video is long overdue. Um, I had posted a video a while back kind of saying that I wanted to leave my dental assisting job. Many of you have been asking if I stayed at the job. So here, I'm here to tell you. And really quickly, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and then click that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I post. I've been posting every week except for last week because um, reasons that I will get into in this video and also uh, microphone technicalities, difficulties, technical difficulties. Bottom line is I did move into a new office um, about two weeks ago, but not for the reason that you think. The office that I was talking about last in my last video, uh, we were all actually gonna move so um, into a new building because uh, we couldn't be in that building anymore even though they've been there for 15 years. So the doctor bought a new building and we all took a week to unpack, pack, move everything to that new office and set up. So yeah, we moved into a new office, but I am still with the same job people. And here is why. And honestly, I kind of took a while to film this video because even as of right now, I am not too sure if I am making the right decision. So yeah, um, for those of you who know me, I, I try not to make decisions really quickly without praying about it first and I have been praying for God to show me where I'm supposed to be and what I'm supposed to do and I haven't gotten an answer yet um, so that is why I am still here there's a, actually a couple of reasons why I'm still here the main one is because I don't feel that God is telling me to leave right now so I'm waiting for him to tell me that it's time for now, I'm, st I'm gonna stay here. Also, um, I'm the only one working in the back right now. I don't really wanna leave them hanging because my coworker that I used to work with there is no longer there. No, she did not quit. Yeah, so I'm the only one working in the back and as I've said in my previous video, I really enjoy working with my doctor. We, we developed sort of a friendship and I, would feel very bad if I would just leave at the same time that my coworker is not there. That said, since my coworker is not there, I have been having to take root canal after root canal after root canal after root canal. And since we were closed a whole week, I think you know what happened. We got very, very, backed up and so consequentially I have been very exhausted and no lie there was many 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 times where I said let me just walk away please but I could not I could not bring myself to do that those of you who do root canals or her who are dental assistants already you know that root canals are very long very exhausting and honestly it was it's good when you have a helper there or another coworker there because I take one root canal she takes one root canal I take one root canal she takes one root canal and then the day is over you know like it's very not it's not too much work you know when you have a helper but if you're just doing it time after time after time trying to chart it all, trying to clean your instruments and keep everything looking neat and tidy. And there was just many, many moments where I really did not want to go back, but I did. 
I am staying because I'm holding on to the fact that they are going to start hiring not just one other person but two other people that will be better and I really want to try to see how it's going to work with these two other people before I make a final decision as well uh, because actually they decided to hire one of my old friends acquaintances from my high school and that's a really big thing for me because uh, my last co-worker, me and her didn't really talk too much because our personalities just didn't vibe together. Don't get me wrong, she was a great person and she really taught me a lot. She was there when I needed her, you know, she was really good. But we just, I don't know, our, we didn't talk much. And so a lot of times it was just us in silence. I'm hoping that with the hiring, it will make work more enjoyable because yeah I enjoy talking to the doctor but that's only when we're in procedures you know and then the rest of the time I'm in the sterilization by myself or doing other stuff by myself and it gets really lonely if you don't really have anyone to talk to uh, the friend that got hired she came in already twice it was fun it was fun and I didn't mind that I had to that I had to work until eight or seven but you know what Another reason why I chose to stay is that I am making bank right now, guys. So I've been working almost 12 hour days um, and then we worked a Friday, which we never do, so that gave me some overtime. Basically, I've just been making a lot of money and that's a big motivator. Um, I know it shouldn't be the only motivator, but it is. And also that month that um, I made my video about last time where we were super, super busy, our bonus was pretty, uh, it was pretty good. Uh, we made a, a bonus of about one, two, three, four figures, four figure bonus. And um, I got to go shopping way more than I already go shopping. For those of you who don't know, I have a shopping addiction at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. And if I think about it, you know, four days of long hours is okay. It's okay. Maybe in the moment I might get frustrated when we have an emergency patient or when we have to start a pace, a case. Maybe a part of me, for sure, a part of me gets upset that we have to stay late. But another part of me says, yay, money. Another part of me says, we're helping these patients and these people. Why else am I there, you may ask? I'm still going to school. Some of you guys didn't know, but I don't plan on being a dental assistant my whole life. I actually really want to become a hygienist, uh, maybe an actor, an actress. I have been doing projects on my days off since I work only four days a week. That gives me a lot of time to focus on doing schoolwork and also chasing my dreams as an actress. And it works really great with my schedule because I only work four days a week. In summary, I'm still here. I'm still thriving. And we'll see where it goes from here. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, don't remember, I mean, don't remember. <laughs> don't forget to like, subscribe, notification bell, and Next week, I will be doing a video on Spanish terms, basic Spanish dental terms that everybody should know. Okay, bye.